What does a grasshopper need with a motorcycle? Or a phone? What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider 01 DX Hidden Rise Phone. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at our front here, we have the phone in its motorcycle mode. In its phone mode, we have 01. Right here, we have the RKF figure on the motorcycle. On the side of the box, we have the actual... Zero one with the actual motorcycle. Up top, we have things, stuff, stuff, things. Back of the box, obligatory product shots, things and stuff, more stuff and things. Caution on the bottom, we have more things, stuff, stuff, things inside Pac Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Hidden Rise phone, and obviously, as the name implies, this is Zero One's phone, but it's also his, uh, his motorcycle. It's his means of transportation as well as his means of communication. Serves the purpose twofold. <laughs> That's getting close, so we can take a look at the details. The, uh, the, the screen is just made up of two stickers here, but you can see all the little icons there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That's, uh, that's the president app. I don't know. Uh, ID. Maybe that's uh, text messages. Notepad. There's the motorcycle. Camera. Uh, the heart rate monitor. I don't know. Time. Lock, I guess. Videos. Then you have phone. Emails. There you go. And some molded detail throughout. Of course, you have the uh, motorcycle wheel just kind of peeking out there. And turn it around. And we have the rest of the motorcycle. And again, you got some molded detail throughout. Of course, the handlebars are just kind of sticking out there as well. So not everything is all that well hidden. But hey, it is what it is. And for a quick comparison, uh, here it is with last year's uh, Ride Striker. This was Gio's motorcycle. And here it is with the Build Phone from Common Rider Build, which was also a phone slash motorcycle. So you can see how these two scale with one another. So, there you have that. So, we do get some noises with this. Uh, the the uh, battery compartment is right here. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. And you have an activation button right here. And the speaker is actually hidden right underneath this panel here. There's the speaker. So that's where everything is. And when we push the button, we get... You get the uh, ringtone, and that's really quiet. And I understand why, because if it gets playing with this and using it as an actual phone, you know, they're going to hold it up to their ear, and, you know, they don't want to get their eardrums blown out, so I understand. But push the button again. Aruto, you've got message. Aruto, you've got message. That's pretty much all it does. You can turn it off at any time. You've got the message. And there you go. So we can do that. So now let's bring in the Zero One driver. We don't need the writer can for this. This is gonna be quick, but we can uh, basically, you know, like activate the phone here, authorize it by holding it up to the driver. Changing to superbike, motorcycle mode. And there you go. Let's get that little confirmation noise there. And once we do that, we can uh, we can change into super bike mode. Now, granted, you don't have to do that to transform it. It'll transform regardless. It's not like there's any lock on it or anything. But just for the sake of accuracy, you scan the phone on the driver. And then we just take the section, bring it around. And when it comes to the front part here... And you can hear that the uh, the speaker gets way louder when it's in motorcycle mode. Now we can take the handlebars and turn it around. Come back here, bring down the back wheel. That'll snap into place. And these panels right here just fold back like so. And this panel down here comes down. That becomes the kickstand. And there you go. There you have the Rise Hopper. And it's not too shabby. It's pretty cool. Not too bad. I do kind of dig it. We're getting close here so we can take a look at the details. Got a nice highlighter green with the red. Nice metallic blue there. 
You get some more of that green, a little bit of red to trim in there. Some more of that green. You can see you got like the uh, kind of exhaust pipes are just kind of molded in there. So you got a bit of molded detail. But all in all, not too shabby though. Not too shabby. The other side, obviously, as you can see, is not painted, but still, there is a good amount of detail there. And in this mode, we can push the button and we get some new noises. Get some vroom vrooming noises. Push it again. Get some vroom vrooming and explosions. Explosions. So, there you have that. And again, for comparison, uh, here it is with the Ride Striker. And here it is with the Build Phone. So, there you go. And of course we can bring in 01010111 and we can see how he looks here alongside his sweet ride. That's pretty cool. And of course we can have him riding his motorcycle. Get his arms up here, get his legs into position, and just get his hands over the handlebars here. And he can ride. There you go. These figures never sit comfortably on these bikes. It's always just kind of, just get it the best you can. Make it kind of look like he's on there. But, you know, it's never going to look all that great. It's always going to be kind of awkward. But, you know, it is what it is. But, there you go. There you have Zero One on the Rise Hopper. And the wheels do spin nice and freely, as you can see. So, if you kind of bring the kickstand up here, you know, you can roll them around. It rolls as rolling things should, although it won't stay up, but hey, oh, he crashed. But hey, oh, he actually got pretty far that time. Anyway, get back here. Get back here, dude. Get back here. All right, but there you go. But, yeah. Let's take him off here. And uh, you do get another noise when you're going back into phone mode. So go back into phone mode. Just going to flip these panels back. Actually, I'm going to leave this panel open just so the speaker is uh, not covered up. But um, you bring the back wheel lamp, and when you unclip this front section here, you get... Teacher rise. He then rise home. You get that there. And again, it's very quiet. Motor rise. Rise hopper. And we'll do that again. Make sure you can hear it. There you go. So it's telling you, going back in phone mode. Let me close this back up. Close that back up. Turn the handlebars around. And there it is, back in its phone mode. Auto, you got message. You got message. You got message it's from your joke writer. There you go. But there you go. So there you have the Hidden Rise phone. Now it's pretty cool for what it is. I do quite like it. And it's a nice companion piece for Zero One here. So he finally has his ride. So yay, I like it, I like it. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Writer 01 DX He Then Rise phone. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face.